In this video, we will see unboxing of uh, GoPro uh, suction cup, uh, which is used in uh, cars to mount to GoPro. So this is the box and uh, it includes uh, suction cup, adjustable arms, uh, standard base as well as quick uh, release base. It also states that uh, it can hold firm up to the speed of uh, 240 km per hour. I live in Sweden and the max speed is uh, 120 km per hour so I don't see an issue here. But we will come to know only when we put this to test and see uh, how firm it is. Okay. Uh, here is the box it says uh, compatible with all uh, GoPro cameras so I have uh, Hero 10 and hopefully it fits that yeah this is the box and uh, let's uh, see what's inside the box Okay, let's take everything out. It looks like everything is uh, assembled in, in a certain way in the cardboard. Okay, there is nothing inside the box here. Okay, let's keep this aside. Okay, so here is the mount. It looks very good and uh, it's, it's a very good quality one and there is a mount attached um, this is the suction cup you can see that uh, here and then there is a mount already attached to this uh, most likely I won't be using this mount because I need to put it in a different way in the windshield so I will replace this uh, mount now let's see There are a couple of mounts in inside here. Yeah. One here and then there is a screw. Okay, there is something inside as well. So let's open this box. Okay, there is an arm uh, here, the mounting arm. You can see that, yeah, this is the mounting arm. As usual, one lifetime warranty instruction. I have no idea why they include these uh, papers, but yeah, maybe some legal things. Okay, at least I see that there is nothing more inside. So this is all we have uh, in the box. So one uh, suction cup and then a couple of uh, mounts, uh, okay. And then this is a long arm, which I definitely want to have it. So I want to fix this uh, long arm uh, with this one. So let's see uh, how does it work. okay so this came off okay so you can see that there are some lines uh, here and which fits uh, perfectly with this the lines uh, here which is good just to keep it uh, tight and uh, close yeah okay uh, so I keep this here and then uh, how did it fit okay so this screws here so I will uh, remove this one and uh, try to put it there. Okay. And this came off here. So how do I want it? I want it like this. Uh, the suction cup uh, to be on the top and I want the camera to be uh, in the bottom so that my windshield it goes like this. So the cup doesn't uh, keep hiding anything so let's okay let's 
the thing is the screws and uh, all these things it fits uh, whatever so you remove from one and it, it will fit the other one uh, it's not a problem with this uh, GoPro okay maybe I didn't put it properly yeah so you can see this one uh, gets very close so sometimes it's a stand uh, outside okay now this is a bit tight so after this then I, I need uh, the direct mount uh, where is the mount here okay Okay, I, I may have to remove this as well. I don't know. Because it doesn't uh, work out the way I wanted. Okay, that's a bit strange. You can see there is a bit of an issue uh, for me to mount the camera in the angle that I wanted. So I may have to figure out like how I can do that uh, with these uh, mounts uh, that I have. Okay, so now I have figured out uh, what is the right choice of mounts uh, for my car. So as I said, I will be mounting it in the windshield like, like this. Say like assume that it's facing the windshield. And I, as, I don't need the long arm, but, but, but what I found is this mount is uh, helping me a lot. Uh, okay. It is attached to the mounting plate and it slides like this so that uh, the camera faces the windshield and when I mount it uh, goes like this and then uh, the mount also doesn't touch the win uh, windshield as well as the camera is not uh, so close to the windshield. So when I want to remove, uh, uh, it's like a quick release, right? So when I want to remove, I just open it and uh, pull it back here so that I don't uh, pull uh, push towards the windshield. So I, I just set up it in, in such a way that it uh, matches uh, uh, my uh, you know uh, requirement but let, let me see like how it goes uh, when I try to fit this in uh, in the car and uh, let me see if this helps uh, to record the video in in the possible way that I think but uh, what you see here is is what is there in the box so you have a mount uh, which I removed from this one and sorry maybe yeah this is the mount I removed from this one and then there is one more mount uh, here which which came along with this one um, uh, so overall so these are the mounts and screws and you know this is the suction cup maybe I will make a video when I fit this in the car and I will show how uh, it worked out in the end uh, for me so this is all you get in the box thanks for watching thank you